Hey there everybody, Lord Bear 90 here again for a second Revenge of the Fallen movie tour review. This time it's going to be a Voyager Mixmaster. The only constructor con I have. I'm planning to get Voyager Demolisher soon, mainly because, well, he's just cool. And even though he only lasted maybe a good two minutes in the film, he was still a very good character. I mean, he was he was really cool in the movie. I mean, he did a lot of damage. Anyway. There's not really a whole lot I can say about Mixmaster's uh, truck mode. But I do like I do like the way he looks though. I mean he actually his truck mode actually looks better than his robot mode. And I'm not even gonna mention his third mode because it's just all it is is just him laying on his stomach with his legs up behind him on in the air and his arms in front of him with his cannon on his back. That's that, that's that's proof right there Hasbro's getting lazy. Aside the fact that these guys can't combine into Devastator, which I don't know why Hasbro didn't go with that idea, but it's Hasbro, people. Anyway. This guy, in, when it comes to detail for a cement truck, he has a lot of very, very realistic detail. I mean, this actually does come down like that, and it folds up just like that, just like in a, on a real cement truck. And I'm sorry if I'm talking too loud. I'm, I'm used to talking real loud. Sorry. But anyway. The color scheme on the front of the truck is kind of a dark dark gray that kind of fades into a kind of a lighter gray. It's got a very decent purple Decepticon symbol on the hood of his truck. And he's got two big big Decepticon symbols on his barrel. Doesn't move due to the transformation, which sucks. But, um... Just like in my uh, Leader Prime video, I'm not going to show the transformation because it's a pain. Especially trying to put him back into truck mode. He is a pain. So, um, bear with me, guys. Okay, I'm back. And here he is. Mixmaster in his robot mode. It's not the best robot mode, but it's certainly better than Rampage. I don't have Rampage, but I've seen reviews of him. Ugh. Really, really not, really not a very good figure from the looks of it. But, uh, yeah, this guy was a pain to transform. I mean, his missile actually shot out when I was trying to put the, the truck here on the back. The panels, the first time I actually tried to get used to transforming Mixmaster, all four panels on him kept constantly falling off. And that, I actually decided I was going to get to the point where I just left them off completely and just made them have bone crusher arms, as I like to call them, because his arms are extremely long. I mean, his arms are about as long as the rest of his body is. I mean, it's ridiculous. But I can't complain because he actually has a very decent robot mode. I mean, it's not the best looking, but it's it's very decent. But, um, yeah... I uh, don't really have all that much left to say about Mixmaster, except the fact that he has a bat-like face. Kind of reminds me of Batman for some reason when he went when he went the, or the Batman when he went up against Count Dracula in that Batman vs. Dracula movie. I don't know. It, that's just what it reminds me of. But um, this is Mixmaster. More Baronati. Till all are one, farewell.